with a stone. Those people who want to store so many stuff there can be fulfilled any time? No. Because the storing has no limitation. But your stomach has limitation. In the same way, we can call your body easily. And we can fulfill this demand also. But we can't fulfill our storing demand of beautiful clothes. You know? Put in alma, put in a store. There is no limitation. So what is the essential demand? We must be aware about it. Essential demand is to fulfill your stomach, to cover your body, and try to maintain a place where you can stay. Essential demand. But you don't be busy always for fulfilling these demands. Because purpose of life is not to fulfill all these demands. Because if you will spend your whole life for fulfilling it, so I was telling you that don't be busy only for fulfilling bodily and sensual demand. This is not our aim of life. Aim of life is something else. Because this is external maintenance, whatever we are doing for our body or senses. This is only external maintenance, not our internal maintenance. In our internal demand is something else. That is to achieve immortality, achieve perfect knowledge, achieve perfect eternal happiness. And how we will fulfill all these or inner demand if we will be busy to fulfilling and holding something, whatever is external? Be aware about it. Because this is only livelihood. It can maintenance our body, our senses, not our self. You can see such kind of person in the world, he who has every kind of facilities, but still he is suffering day and night. He has no peace, no contentment, no happiness in his life. Though he has a beautiful place with lot of stuff, lot of other things, but he has no peace. Why? Because peace doesn't come through all these things. This is only your external, you know. By external maintenance, you can't achieve your inner demand. So, great teachers told us, teaches us, be aware about your real self and try to fulfill its inner demand. What is our inner demand? Is I was telling you, immortality, knowledge and blissfulness. This is our inner demand. So how we will achieve it? We can achieve it when we will realize our real self. We should divide our life, you know, our lifetime in two, two parts. One related with this natural phenomena and try to fulfill it and devote some time for fulfilling it and other part of time, life, we should devote for fulfilling our real demand. Okay. But nowadays we can see, we can think 
people are busy. People are busy for maintaining their external demand day and night, day and night, holding more and more. They are maintaining their car, washing their car, not their mind. They are spending a lot of time, a lot of time for thinking about some such kind of things, whatever is totally useless, but they are not ready to think about their own real self. You know, I, I read a story, very good story. One person worshipped God and he got a boom. He asked him, and God pleased. Or, what is your near desire? And he asked, My Lord, I want gold, gold, gold. Gold? Yeah. And what do you want? I wish that if I touch anything, you must become gold. Okay. God blessed him by such kind of move. He become very happy, very happy. Now I will touch everything and everything will be gold. He was very happy. And he came to his home. And his wife came, heard that my husband came from great austerity and he got some divine boon. She was very happy also. And she, he told, oh, bring a glass of water. Okay. And she became very happy. She went and she brought a glass of water. When he touched that water, glass and that, you know, metal changed into gold. Oh, he became very happy. And he was laughing, laughing. See, my dear, I got such kind of bone. Now I will touch everything and everything will change into form of gold. Everything will be gold. And she become very happy also. But when he, you know, sip that, touch that water and water change into gold. He was much thirsty. Much thirsty. But he afraid. Oh, how? How can I, how I can drink this gold? Gold can't quench any thirst. Only water can. So he becomes sad. At that time, his little child heard that his father came. And he ran to him. And he came. He was very happy. Oh, my child. When he touch his child, embrace him, he become gold. If anybody ask you, do you want golden child <laughs> or child a plus with first and both? What do you say? <laughs> Nobody like golden child. He wants a child with plus and bone, okay, and blood, not by gold. So he scared. Oh, what happened? Whatever he has, he was touching. Everything was changing into gold, 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 gold. Oh. Then he cried. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Oh my merciful Lord. I don't want such kind of boon. I don't want gold. I don't want gold. I want my normal life with my child and with my wife. Okay. So, nowadays those people who are busy to changing everything into gold, though they are pleasing now, but one day will come and they will repent. Because they are wasting their precious time for such useless work. I don't think that uh, worldly 
enjoyment is not good or it is useless. No, no. I don't think that it don't work and don't, uh, you know, earn money. I don't take it this way. But I think and I suggest that you must be aware whatever you are doing this, this is only for your body and senses. You can maintenance all these things. But be aware, you are not only body, you are not only senses, you are something else. And are you doing something for that? Are you about your own self? Are you fulfilling your inner demand? No, if you are not aware about that, then it is set for. It is bad. Be aware. Try to think again and again. And try to fulfill your aim of life. Life's aim is to achieve that divine quality. Immortality, knowledge and blissfulness. In other words, happiness. And immortality is nature of your real self. You will achieve that when you will be away from this body. This body. Gross body, subtle body, causal body. This nature. Our natural phenomena. When you will be away from this natural phenomena, then you will realize your real self. This very great work. Try to do. Try to realize it. And you will achieve perfect knowledge at that time when you will cross this limitation. And you will realize blissfulness when you will see that there is nothing beside you. Okay? That stage will come when you will cross this limitation. which is created by nature, natural phenomena. All religion, yeah. all culture, every holy man, and all real education, you know, guide us for this highest purpose. This is the purpose of religion, this is the purpose of culture, this is the purpose of holy books, this is the purpose of holy men, this is the purpose of our life. To cross this limitation. But you can't cross it by faith only. You can't cross it by acceptance only. You can cross only when you will be aware, fully aware. Faith is a good thing, not bad. But without wisdom, faith becomes blind. And such kind of blind faith can't lead you up to your destination. So be aware. Keep faith with wisdom. Every holy man, every great man, every great master teaches this reality. The aim of life is to achieve divinity. You must be aware where you are, you are not satisfied. You feel always some lack. Due to this, you want to achieve something else. You want to go some other stage. Where you are, that is your real. And whatever you want to be, that is your idea. Must be aware about this fact, that gap between real and ideal is the great gap 
in your life and try to fulfill this game. How it can be possible? Only when you will use every faculty, every instrument properly, awarefully, then you will be able to fulfill this game. You have body, you have senses, you have mind, you have intellect, you have ego. Everything, everything is very precious, very precious. This divine gift, divine gift, you know, all these were given by divine. It is not your own creation. No, no. Nobody can, can create intellect. Nobody can create mind. Nobody can create body. No, no, it is not your creation. This is the creation of divine. You know? What do you think? If your, you know, if your intellect is your own creation, then why you have very tiny intellect? If your body is your own creation, why you have very small body? Why not you create a big body? So you can think in this way. This is not your own creation. No, no. It is beyond your capacity, beyond your ability, this is divine creation. Whatever you have, this is the gift of divine. Body is the gift of divine, no doubt, no doubt. Because according to holy scriptures, human body is the image of Godhead. Okay? So this is the divine gift. And your mind, your senses, you know, all are divine gifts. We know that we have two eyes. One day one person was asking, Swamiji, why not God give one eyes here and other eyes here? Because then we can see, you could see in front and in back also. <laughs> you should imagine, you know, you should imagine that a person has one eyes here and other eyes here. How it looks. <laughs> okay? So, this divine, divine gift, my dear, divine grace. We should use every, every limb, every faculty in the proper way. If we will misuse this divine gift, then we will be sinner. There is no doubt. will commit a great blunder in front of our Divine Father. So we should try to be aware about all these things. We should use it properly, properly. How to use it? It should be learned. How to use it? That's called art of life. Okay. So divine knowledge, Vedanta and Yoga teaches this. How to use your all faculties for achieving highest good. This is the teaching of Vedanta. The teaching of Yoga. This is only for mankind. You know, there are many, many, many kinds of knowledge, but not for animal. Because animal has no wisdom, no intellect, he can't use properly, he can't study properly. But animal and other species are controlled by nature. Due to this, they are not creating trouble such as a human can create. 
and human is creating. Okay. As a lion, I have some, you know, very sharp teeth. He can kill one and two, not more than this. But a human being, if he become low end in his main life, in human life, they can he can kill millions of people. You know? So he is more dangerous than lion. He is more dangerous than any any animal, any wild animal, because he has intellect. He is not doing something, but he can do more. He is tool maker also. He is not only rational. He is tool maker. He can create new tool. He can create new tool. He can use new tool in the other way. Can kill millions of people. Yeah, you all are aware about many kinds of nuclear weapons. And one pay, one one nuclear, you know, weapon can destroy millions of people with one. You know, this is the this is the result of silly mind, human <laughs> mind. So. If you will not control your this active power, you will not put it, uh, not put it on the proper way, proper path. Then it will create trouble. Not only others, for, but for you also. So it is very essential, very essential to be aware. Oh. Hmm? So it is very essential. Okay, okay, go, go. Don't worry. So I was telling you that whatever you have, that is the gift of God. Gift of God. Don't try to misuse it. Otherwise, you will never get again. Okay? If you are a dear child, come to you and demand something. And if you are giving, if you give him that thing, and he is misusing that again and again, then automatically, next time you will object, you will deny it. Okay, you have no ability to gain again it. Why? Because you are misusing it. So, whatever we have, our body, mind, senses, intellect, ego, all are gift of giver. You must be aware about all and try to use it properly. And how you can use properly, only yoga is stand for this. How to is use it properly. How to maintain it properly. How to use it properly. Only for this purpose, yoga is stand. Our great seers, thousands of thousands of years ago, 
They searched this divine knowledge. They found there is some process through which a person can achieve highest good easily. Due to this, they teach us for higher discipline. Higher discipline. As I told you, our body has limitation, but our <coughs> desire has no limitation. This is necessary for us to fulfill our body, but it is not necessary to run behind our desire. It is not necessary. So, when we will be aware about all these things, automatically we can use our ability and capacity or all faculties in the proper way. Be aware about all. Try to maintain your body, but in the good way. As you know, just I was telling you that all other species are controlled by nature, but not human beings. You can see every creature has its own food. Okay? And he or she can he can use that according to that. As a cow, as a lion, there you will find many, many kinds of bird. You know? Their food is decided. But a human being, human being has no any decided food. He is free. Though his body is, his body, his body is under natural control. And if he become aware about his body properly, then he can eat proper food. If he is not aware about his body, then he can, he will, he will put whatever he wants, whatever he likes. You know, you can see one thing, it is very common. We are receiving oxygen, always, through our nostrils. We are discharging carbon dioxide, always. But our silly mind, you know, our silly mind, Engage ourself. Such a unnatural work. When you will think you will surprise. That's called smoking. What we are doing in that process? We are receiving carbon dioxide. You know? That's totally against our nature. Our natural law. Natural process. We are smoking, we are receiving carbon dioxide inside. Though the natural process, we are receiving fresh oxygen and we are discharging carbon dioxide. In the same way, those people who are putting some flesh and bone in his stomach, our stomach is not for flesh. That is Totally vegetarian stomach, intestine, long intestine we have, as a vegetarian animal has. So our intestine is not for flesh, but our silly mind always compare and we are putting that. Unnatural food, unnatural activities always create many kinds